What is going on, you guys? And welcome back to another video. And this is going to be an interesting one. This is going to be my ranking of the Halloween timelines. My, what is my preferred timeline? What timeline is the best? Which Halloween timeline does not suck? Pretty much all of that. And we're gonna we're just gonna kick it off. Off right here, you guys, at the bottom. The worst Halloween timeline for me personally. Sorry, Rob Zombie. The Rob Zombie timeline with just the two Rob Zombie movies. I have named made it no secret on my channel that I do not like any one of Rob Zombie's movies. Now, um, uh, now of course, Tyler Mead's performance as Michael is good, and of course, I do like the mask, but but all of Rob Zombie's dialogue, um, uh, and of course, I do like Brad Dorf in the role of Sheriff Bracken, and I do like um, uh, and again, the kills and, and the kills in both of them really, really great. There are so there are things that I do like about about the Rob Zombie Halloween movies, but, but other than that, sorry, this timeline sucks. Sucks complete ass. Ne next timeline on my list is going to be the original Halloween from 1978. Um, uh, 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 Halloween, um, uh, um, uh, Halloween 2 from 1981. Halloween H two O, and finally Halloween Resurrection. Now, the reason why this timeline is so low on my list is because of the one p. It's because of the one movie that absolutely kills Halloween H two O. You get that great ending of H two O where Laurie decapitates Michael, and then Halloween Resurrection just says, just says, nope, she killed the wrong person. It was really a paramedic that Michael switched uh, switched his clothes out with destroying the ending of Halloween H2O, which you'll see that timeline way higher on my list. So yeah, the reason why this timeline is so low is mainly because of Halloween Resurrection. If Halloween Resurrection didn't exist, this timeline would definitely be a little bit higher. Next up for me is going to be um, uh, Halloween 19... No, uh, the... Um, uh, Halloween eight, Halloween 1978, um, and Halloween 2 from 1981. Now, I do like this timeline, obviously. This timeline is really damn good. Of course, you have the original classic 1978 Halloween, and you have Halloween 2. Um, uh, of course, both movies blend really nicely because Halloween 2 literally takes place right after the original Halloween, right where it ended. So, of course, these two movies, of course, definitely do blend really nicely together. And, of course, I do. And, of course, Halloween, you know, 1978 is a classic and Halloween 2, 1981. But, but, the reason why this timeline is a little low for me, I do not like the family motive. I hate the family motive for Michael. And the reason why is is because I prefer Michael to be motiveless evil. That is what John Carpenter intended. That is what the original Halloween was. So yeah, that is my one and only gripe about Halloween 2 from 1981. Next up is the Thorn timeline. The Cult of Thorn timeline with Halloween 4, Halloween 5, The Revenge of Michael Myers, and Halloween 6. Now, the reason why this one is a little bit higher for me is because, well, first of all, I absolutely love Halloween 4, one of my favorites in the franchise, and Halloween 6, yeah, some stuff, yeah, some stuff is a little weird, like, you know, of course, you had Paul Rudd in Halloween 6, and, and you know, and uh, Paul, Paul Rudd is a good actor, don't get me wrong, but, of course, this was Paul Rudd's, you know, first leading role before we knew him as Ant-Man. And so, um, uh, yeah, you had a lot of weird stuff in there, like the whole cult of thorn thing and stars controlling my, and like this cult or whatever that controls Michael. And I'm sorry, nobody control, 
controls Michael. Nobody controls the shape. Like, nobody. That's dumb. And, of course, Halloween 5, which, if you guys don't know, Halloween 5 is a big piece of shit. Retcons the ending of Halloween 4, that great ending. And makes Jamie Lloyd a mute for most of the movie. You have Tina, one of the most annoying characters in slasher movie history. And um, uh, Michael's mask is absolutely embarrassing in both Halloween 4 and 5. That is my one gripe about Halloween 4 is the mask. Um, with, um, uh, uh, and uh, J and uh, the guy that played Michael in Halloween 5, Don Shanks, Sorry, not as good as um, George P. Wilbur, who, of course, played him in Halloween 4 and Halloween 6. And yeah, that is why this timeline is so low. Now, next up is Halloween 1978, Halloween 2018, Halloween Kills, and Halloween Ends. I don't care what anybody says. I love the Blumhouse Halloween trilogy, all three of them. James Jude Courtney is the best um, Michael, and, and of course you have the best mask in the franchise, and um, uh, you know, and I actually do like how this timeline ends. It is a definitive ending. There's no bullshit retcon. There's no oh wait, well actually this happens and and so, like no, there was a definitive ending when we got to Halloween ends, and that's what I like about this timeline is that this is the is the one timeline well aside from Halloween two that def that ends the from nineteen eighty one that ends definitively that ends definitively. Now next up is Halloween nineteen seventy eight and Halloween twenty eighteen. Again, I absolutely love Halloween twenty eighteen. It is a really damn good um, uh, a movie. I don't care what anyone says. Saw that movie in the theater. Absolutely loved it. And, um, uh, of course, you have the original 1978 movie. And, of course, these two movies do, bl do blend together. Like, you can watch 1978 and go into 2018, like, pretty much on the... Uh, ve like, very well. Because you can tell that 2018 definitely is 40 years later. Which is great. Which is great. So yeah, that timeline is really great. But for me, for me, for me, my favorite timeline, my favorite timeline, Halloween 1, Halloween 2, Halloween H2O. This is the definitive Halloween timeline for me. You have the original Halloween from 1978, which I love. You have Halloween 2 from 1981, which I enjoy. And then culminating it with Halloween H2O 20 years later and that badass finale where you have Laurie and Michael going at it, just fighting. And then you have the that badass ending of Laurie um, uh, chopping, uh, chopping Michael's head off. That is the end. That is the end. That is the end. That is my preferred timeline. Curtains. Res Halloween Resurrection doesn't exist. No. No. But yeah, what do you guys think about this? What is your guys' rankings of the Halloween timelines? I know I didn't include Halloween 3, Season of the Witch. Well, because for one, that's the only movie that doesn't have Michael in it. And, and... Well, I do enjoy that one. It's fine, but it doesn't have Michael. And of course, we go to Halloween to see Michael. But yeah, though, guys, um, this is mainly just my ranking of the timelines, not the movies itself, the timelines and which timeline I prefer. So yeah, for me, Halloween 1, Halloween 2, 1981, and Halloween H20, 20 years later, is my definitive timeline. So yeah. Let me know what you guys think about this. Don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe as always for more videos. And don't forget to hit the bell icon so you get notified whenever I upload brand new videos. And tell me what your guys' is ranking of the Halloween timelines is down below. I would love to hear your guys' thoughts. And as always, guys, don't forget to keep on slashing.